Welcome. Today we are looking at question number 14 and the question reads show that the points A34, Q43 and R16 are collinear. So this is a question on vectors. So in order to show that points are collinear what that simply means is that we show that the points are lying on a straight line so it's like we have point a three four point q four three and finally point r one six in order to show that the points are collinear then what you're simply going to do is to have a pair of vectors from this particular line segment ar so that we can decide to have a q and a r but what you're going to simply show here is that a q and a r are parallel so if they are parallel then that is one of the conditions that the three points are collinear okay and then after that you also need to show that there is a common point so finally that will give us enough reason that all the three points are lying on the same line and that is a straight line. So how to show that AQ and AR are parallel to each other? We will simply show that AQ is a scalar multiple of AR. So we will simply have uh, AQ is equal to H of AR. So here, we are going to have A, Q, A, R as column vectors so that for A, Q, we are simply going to have O, Q minus O, A, which should be equal to H into, for this other case, it is O, R minus O, a. So just have Q minus A, but because it's a position vector, so it's OQ minus OA. For this other case, R minus A, which is OR minus OQ for the position vectors. So for OQ, we are going to have this point, the position vector for point Q, as a column vector that should be written as 4, 3 minus 4 o a that is 3 4 and then we'll have that h into an overall bracket and for o r we have 1 6 minus 4 o a we have 3 4 so what we have here is that 4 minus 3 that should give us 1 and 3 minus 4 that is negative 1 don't forget about the brackets so that is vector 1 negative 1 and then the other side we have h into 1 minus 3 that should give us negative 2 and 6 minus 4 that should give us 2 from here we can see that uh, 1 is equal to negative 2h, so you can use the first line or the second row, whichever. So one of them is just enough. So we are going to have 1 is equal to negative 2h. And for this particular case, this should be 
h is equal to negative a half and negative half is a scalar so that simply means we should be having something like a q is equal to negative a half of a r so with this you can say hence a q is parallel to a r and also this last statement is very important and also a is a common point therefore from here we can see that the points a q and r are collinear and so that is the end of that solution so i hope that was helpful once again thanks for your patience until this time and thank you for watching see you next time